Onward VR is a very solid tactical and methodical shooter with respect to the fact that the enemy AI will constantly push your position once you have initiated contact. When you play with multiple people in Onward, there are a couple of tactical considerations you need to think about in order to enhance your gameplay, at least if you want to play more methodically and ideally more efficiently in your movements, in your sector coverage, and getting everyone on the same page. However you choose to play, if you incorporate some of these, it will certainly enhance your tactical gameplay if that's how you choose to play Onward. So let's cover over some considerations with some examples in what you th should be applying. Pig. Hey, don't hyperextend. You're going to cut me off. You're going to cut me off. Be mindful of how far you extend when other people are covering down on their sectors, especially if they're covering an avenue of approach that is known. If you overextend, you are going to cut off that individual right. sector to where he cannot properly engage safely. You can mitigate this by choosing to advance on the parallel with said individual. That way, proper cross coverage in this situation gets established. Hey, gents, I am bleeding, so I will need a syringe at some point. In the event that I fucking pass the fuck out here. All right, do not immediately rush to provide medical aid. As you saw here, we made sure sectors of fire were set up before we went ahead and applied medical. And if you are the person who is receiving the medical treatment, maintain your sector if you cannot do syringes yourself. That way, that person who is applying medical aid to you doesn't get fucked up in the application of said medical, and you also don't die. Keep your eyes forward, pig. Keep your eyes forward, pig. You're leaving a gap in security. Roger, hold me forward. Gaps in security will get you killed faster than anything else, so make sure that you are orienting your barrel towards areas that your teammates are not covering. That way, you are constantly looking for work. You have to trust that your other individual teammates are holding down their sectors so you can hold down yours. They're trusting you, so you need to trust them. This is especially true if you're working together with people you've already worked with. Like when you're in a, a pickup game with randos, that trust factor is going to be a lot more loose. But this is assuming you have a group of friends that you're playing with. Yeah, always be kind of... You see gaps, don't get sucked in the fight. If you already see somebody fucking angling down there, orient that fucking muzzle offset to make sure you're covering down on shit that isn't covered down on because that's when somebody will fucking pop up just like it did right at the introduction and you're just you're just constantly swinging that muzzle in opposite opposing directions just covering down on shit it's gonna be a constant fucking priorities of work shifting if you need a real clear-cut example of not getting sucked in the fight and covering down your sectors here's one i get a little spicy on this but that's just the nature of the beast sometimes Hey, watch your fucking goddamn sector, bro. God damn it. Don't get sucked into the fucking fight. All right, y'all. Hopefully you took something from this that you can apply for yourselves. My name is JustRainy7. If you like more content like this, leave a like in the video. Give me a comment down below or subscribe to see more things like this. See you later. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.